Hi. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we use Excel template to design the reports. So as you know that, like uh, we have a concept called XML Publisher. So in this part, in this particular XML Publisher tool, the predominantly RTF templates are the mostly used templates. But in our session today, what we do is we'll try to introduce a concept called XML templates, uh, Excel templates. And using Excel templates, how can we design the report? And in the Excel templates, we have two particular major important concepts. One is just having a having a single sheet report, and another one is a multi sheet report. So what we do is we'll try to understand what is a prerequisite to design the templates using XML templates. Sorry using Excel templates and how can we generate the data in a single sheet or a multi sheet okay and one more one more basic uh, thing in the Excel templates is that output can be in only Excel sheet it cannot be in any other format so that's a thing we have to consider in mind when you're designing the designing the report in report using Excel sheet templates so let me show you like what are the configuration as a developer we have to do it okay so using Excel sheet templates so these are the things we have to consider and the version of ERP which I have considered is Oracle ERP 1213 and the first thing is you make sure that this particular lookup value is set so by default it may be disabled in your thing and make sure that the value for this XLS code enable this one and the tag for this one should be XDO underscore XLS underscore templates underscore output okay this is what I mentioned here and the next thing is and for this one you just make to make sure that there is another lookup which is there make sure that is also enabled so these two lookups so here you need to add up the tag here and this next lookup you can make sure that this is enabled and the other one also get enabled and the other thing is once you enable that you can see Microsoft Excel if you don't see Microsoft Excel as a type then you cannot design the Excel then you know I mean to say that you cannot use the Excel sheet templates in your system so these are the prerequisite for these lookups I mean to select it to design to register an Excel template in the XML publisher make sure that these lookups are done properly okay now let's see how do we go ahead and design the Excel sheet templates so I'll try to show you the data model and uh, my Excel sheet template which I have designed so let me open my data model here so in this data model I just have a very simple simple data model just a EMP table and DPT table so I'm just generating a tabular kind of group a single group report and this single group report I mean to say like uh, I have a single group here. This will generate the EMP data. So now how can I generate a tabular report using Excel sheet templates? It's quite easy. So what we can do is let us understand what is the thing I have to consider. So what you do is open your like a uh, design a new XLX file. Make sure that it should be XLS not XLS X. It should be XLS only. It supports only XLS. And once you once you create a new sheet and you know like the initial sheet, this is what the sheet will be and you know like uh, there will be some like if you see any of the standard templates which Oracle has already provided you will see this particular information called XDU underscore metadata so this is not required so what you can do is just design your columns and then in the next line the first line should be your head column headers and the next line what you have to do is these particular things you have to design your XDO tags so the syntax is very easy so the syntax for these XDO columns is like this so just XDO underscore followed by the element name now nothing but in our case in my case one minute it should be prefixed by xdo underscore and followed by the element name question mark emp and wo. this is my element like this okay like this okay so this is the syntax for each element if you observe here for each column I just mentioned this particular element here XD underscore question mark EMP number and the same way I just designed these all things like EMP name job manager high date salary and D name so there is one more thing here so there is no need to install the XML what you say Excel template plugin for your Excel sheet that's not required what you can do is so just click on formulas and click on name manager so here you can create new names now if you observe in my case at this place I have this column right department name EMP name EMP number all these things so for each individual columns you have to have this one and also there should be one group element you have to design that so what you have to do is to design the group element select all these columns here like this and then click on name manager and click on I mean you have to define a new name and if you see my group here this is my group where I selected the columns from can you see here? it shows the what you say the position right from A to G right A to G dollar two nothing but like uh, uh, what you call the column A the second row 
from A to to G2. That's what it means, right? Just click on edit and you can see that. Right? This is how you have to mention this. This is my syntax for the group. So now our report is ready. I'm going to say our template is ready. The next step is registration process your template. The registration process is just a normal the way you register with the RTF template. The only thing is while registering the template, you have to select the template type as Microsoft Excel. That's the only thing. The remaining process is just as it is. So click on template. Let me show you the existing stuff which I have done. XXLT. Yeah, this is one EMP Excel sheet report. So yeah, so you just need to register the template with the type Excel sheet, default output type as Excel, and the template type. Can you see the template type? It is Microsoft Excel. So the only thing is here, you know, like you, you cannot like uh, if you consider the RTF kind of thing. What you do is you you'll be uploading the data data into RTF, and you can just insert all the tags, right? But here, as a developer, we have to write manually everything. Okay, now let us say if you want to mention one more extra thing. Let us I would like to display some extra information. I mean to, if you want to add up a tag here, what is the thing you have to do it, right? So that's that's a doubt you may have it. What you can do is let us say I don't have department number here, right? So maybe in my case, let me open my data model. So do I have department number? I don't have it, right? So let me add up here department number. So let us say in this data model, I will add up one more column D dot DPT and one minute. And let me add up the tag here. Department Envo. And once you add up the tags here, so how can you add up the XDO specific tag, isn't it? So what you can do is let us I'll add up here Department Envo. Right? Department Envo. Now what is the syntax? So let's see that. So copy the element name. Now you just need to follow this syntax xdo underscore question mark then followed by our element name that's it yeah copy this now go to the excel sheet now click on name manager right so you can just click, simply click on new and here can you see the position here that refers to which position it refers to which cell i mean to say in the name you just need to mention that Right, it refers to sheet one H2. This is my H, this is my column. Just simply click on OK. And make sure that you change the group also because initially it was referring till G, right? So now the group got changed to H. Click on edit. And now what you do is you can just simply like simply you can do like this also. Just click on this particular refers to position and you try to select all the columns which it should be part of a group. So this is the one. This is my group now. Now click on OK. Click on close. Now change the column for this one. Change the color, I mean. Right? Yeah. Now our template is ready. So make sure that you upload the latest data model as well as template into the instance. Click on update. So upload the latest template now. Okay. So now let's select the template. Click on browse. Select the template here. This is my XLS template apply. You go to data definition and XXLT underscore EMP. Click on go. Update the data definition. Update file. Browse latest data model apply okay, now let's run the report from the server emp xxlt emp excel report this is my concurrent program this is my template name click on submit
click on view output and let's see the output right perfect so we got the department number we got all the employee details right okay so this is how we can design an excel template in oracle ebusiness suite we'll check out one more sample where we would we'd like to display the data in multiple sheets based on the department so now what we do is like uh, whenever you have a data and where you have a hierarchical data and you want to display the data in in different sheets what is a possible way we can do it right so let me show you another sample so now let me show you the data model which i have so this is very simple one in this one what i have is i've considered two queries one is for the department details another one is the employee details so this minor query q2 is minor query and q1 is my parent so nothing but department data and employee data so here i'm so my this is my g underscore department is my parent and g underscore emb is a child okay so this is a data model where the data will get generated in hierarchical manner for each particular department you will have a list of employees so that's how the data will get generated here and you can also see the data here so i have a list g department first then g department number this in this department it will show the list of employees that's how it will get displayed now how can you how can we display the data in multiple sheets that's the thing right so the total logic depends upon the excel sheet template so open my i'll just open the template here and the way we design our excel the tags earlier we have to design the same way if you observe here this is my department tag this is my employee tag right this is all my employee data and this is my department data now the logic to generate the data in multiple sheets depends upon the xdo underscore metadata definition where we have to define this one so so this should be a thing we have to follow here and generally by like how can you know that like uh, you, how, how can you know, know all these columns and what you have to mention right so this is standard template where you can get from that information and followed by in the data constraints what it does here there's a tag called xdo sheet this uh, in this one we have to mention on what basis you want to generate the sheet nothing but on which group you want to generate the data into multiple sheets so in our case so based on the number of based on the number of records which are available in the g underscore department group that number of sheets we want to have it right so just simply mention that group name so just simply follow this particular syntax okay and based on this what happens is it will generate the number of sheets and what is the name of sheet you want to keep it here in my case i would like to mention the name of a sheet as department name followed by the number of employees in a given department so here i just mentioned sheet name is my tag name data constraints tag name so just a simple syntax department name followed by the number of employees in a given department that's the syntax i mentioned here okay so the registration process again same now let us see what will be the out output how it does the output look like okay XXLT EMP multi sheet report submit. So the total logic depends upon the data model as well as the Excel sheet things, uh, Excel sheet XDO constraint syntax. So now I'll click on view output, click on save. Let us let me open this. Yep. Now can you see for accounting, I have 21 employees, research there are eight employees sales there are four employees operation there are one employee right and this is how it goes on based on the number so you can actually this you can hide this particular XDO metadata this should this should not be shown to the business user what you can do is while uploading the template just hide this hide this particular sheet and then upload it that should that is how it should be okay so just see here like in the employee table we have how many records we have Yeah, so count rows. So we have around 36 records. And if you see what happened is like uh, according to the department, like 21 in the accounting department, there are eight in the research department, right? And there are four people in the sales department, 29 plus 433, 34. And then, and yeah, so there are maybe like that, there could be two employees who doesn't have any department because we have performed equi join, right? So that's how it got generated so this particular type of multi-sheet report will be helpful where you want to design the hierarchical data i mean to say like uh, let us say you want to see the inventory data for each operating unit and there's no and and you know like uh, there will be a single centralized centralized uh, research team which will maintain the inventory information and they want all the data in a single sheet they don't want to have multiple outputs for each particular inventory this particular report will help you out in generating all the inventory data for your total e-business sort in a single sheet right nothing but let us say consider a client is having 10 inventory 10 10 what you say 10 inventories okay and they want to have all the data all the inventory data data based on inventory organization so generally what is expectation what we do is like uh, we'll ask the business user to submit 
the report and mention the organization based on that we will be generating the output right but if users want if a business user say that they want to have the data in this particular sheet kind of fashion a multi sheet kind of fashion you can consider this particular temperature this particular template approach this is one of the very good uh, sample for you know like good uh, good uh, this is this is this particular multi sheet is one of the good advantage whenever you want to generate the data like uh, for a business based on the inventory or based on the purchase order types something like that right in a hierarchical manner this will help you out and this will then this particular one most of the business user likes if they see if they consider that this particular uh, output type okay thank you